All right, guys, this is Jackie Tinker with the Virtual Trialing Group. And let me tell you, we are doing challenge number seven, the shedding challenge. And it has been more challenging for me to come up with this course and videotape this than it probably will be to actually try and shed. Um, <clears throat> because I created these courses based on things I wanted to do with my dogs. And I've not done shedding before. So I am not good at this. And I posted a video or seven and Joy, Joy Hall helped me tweak this so that it's reasonable. Because, um, so anyway, so that's why it's been crazy. If you saw an older video of this, this is the official video right here. And this is what we're going to do. So the setting challenge, we've been practicing for it. I've let you know, you know, that this is coming. This is coming. This is an advanced level skill, but I think we should be in this time of, you know, we have a lot of time to train and we aren't trialing. So we have a lot of time to train right now and our dogs are getting better. Mine are getting better and yours are getting better. So this is, this is the goal. And of course, there's no money on the line, no finals on the line. This is all for fun. Anyway, here we go. Let's go through the course like usual, and then we'll go through the shedding part. Um, this is a 100 by 200 arena. For ducks, you can just adjust everything down. There are some suggested duck things over here. Um, all right, handler's post is going to be at the back of the arena, 20 feet to the from the left side. And there are no stock needs to come behind you at any point. So put that handler's post right up against the fence. Uh, we have a set out this week. So your set out will be in the middle of the arena at the very back of the, of the front of the arena. So as far away as you can get on the fence um, in your 200 foot arena. Let me pause here and say that if you are posting for the first time, there are a few things you need to put in your video. Um, your name, your country that you're from, the dog's name, the level you're trialing in, and the size of your arena. Okay, so put those five things in your comments when you're posting your videos, and um, it helps me out a lot. Alrighty, uh, you're going to set up two cones or obstacles here. You can use anything that we can see on the camera, buckets, chairs, flags, as long as we can see them on the camera. And I'll pause again for another public service announcement for those of you that are new. Um, record in your highest resolution on your camera and then upload to YouTube in that medium resolution. And it usually works out pretty well. Do a test shot of your course before you run it, um, to make sure that we can see the cones and the, the obstacles, whatever you put up for obstacles that we can see them very clearly on the video. And many of you have made adjustments to your obstacles to help me out. And I've really appreciated it. So just do those things and you'll be good. All right. You'll have your obstacles here. They're 20 feet from the right side of the arena and they're only 16 feet apart. So make sure you note that that distance needs to shrink down to 16 feet so we can increase the difficulty of that as well. If you are a started, you're going to be doing a ribbon pull for sheep and a stick or hand contact for ducks. And I'll explain that in a minute. You will have a shedding ring and that shedding ring is going to be 50 feet from this panel. These sets of panels right here. They're the obstacles. 50 feet over here, 50 feet from the back, and 30 feet in diameter. Okay, that's for started. If you're an advanced person, you don't need to put this ring in here. You can just kind of forget that it's there. Advanced people, your shedding area will be from the handler's post. Put a cone up here, which is about 66 feet from the handler's post because it will be parallel to number two, which is uh, 66 feet from the back. So you're going to make kind of an imaginary square. And if you put that cone here, we'll be able to very clearly see the area that we need to shed in. Open handler's line is 50 feet from the back of the arena. And it's parallel to uh, cone number three. Started, there is no handler's line. Advanced, it's a handler's post. All right, so we're going to run this course. <clears throat> and as you know, I run this as an advanced handler. Your time starts when you send your dog on your outrun. So you can send them in any direction. Just going to go over here because it's cleaner. I'll run left and fetch. And then we're going to be going over here and putting them through this panel sideways. So it'll be an off balance uh, fetch, which will be challenging in itself. If you're an advanced handler, as soon as you're, you clear this panel, your stock clear this panel, you can move away from this post and start your shed in this area. And you work in this entire 60 by 66 foot area to do your shedding. If you're started, you're going to go all the way into the shedding ring and do your shed there. If you're started, your shed ends when you pull the ribbon. Or if you have ducks, you do a stick or hand contact, which means you touch with your hand the top of a duck's head or feathers or something like that. Or you can use your stock stick to touch a specific marked duck. 
and your stock stick can only be five feet or less in length. So I think that'll make it easier. When we tried this before, it was a little bit of a disaster with the ducks. But some people were able to touch the head, so you can either touch with your hand or you can use your stock stick to gently touch your duck. And your time will stop. If you're an open or advanced, um, you're going to, if you're an open and advanced with five or less, you're going to shed any one animal if you're using three, two animals if you're using five. Okay, and so here's what I'm going to consider on the shed. All right, since we're just learning this, you don't need to pull them, you don't need to shed them outside of this area. You just need to separate your stock, have your dog turn and face the ones that are being shed off and, you know, take a couple of steps, two to three steps forward, then the shed will end. So basically that's what you're going to do to shed. You don't have to shed them out of the ring here. You just need to stay in this area to shed that just so it's a controlled situation. All right. That's it for your shed. If you're doing a large group of 10 animals, you need to shed any three animals. Okay. Now, if you can only shed them one at a time, so say you can't do all three or two or one at a time, like, oh, that's not going to work. I can't get all three of them. I can't split the group. I can do one at a time. If you're going to do the one at a time method, you need to get them, kick them out of the, kick them out of the area. Okay. So I'll let you have those variations just because this is going to be a really hard challenge for all of us to do. And I hope that you have fun with this. Remember, this is about making ourselves and our dogs better and improving our training and having fun with our dogs. And look, guys, when trialing comes around, trialing season comes around, y'all are going to kick everybody's butts because you have been training your dogs like some mofos. So you keep that up and um, I will see your videos on Sunday. Have a great week.